Chintar. She's in the CNN Weather Center in Allison. Where is the storm right now and where is it headed? All right, so the center of circulation is 20 miles due east of Key West. So we are starting to see that landfall about to take over the Keys, make it back out over open water before it makes a landfall over the peninsula. This storm is still a very powerful Category 4 storm. Here you can see some of those really heavy bands of rainfall for the few folks, and maybe even none, but for the few folks that are still left along the Keys, you are dealing with torrential downpours at this time, not to mention some of your peak winds. Then we start to move on to the surge threat. Now, the surge is already taking place along the east side. You're getting that onshore flow, those winds pushing all of that water onto the east coast. The west coast, it's doing the exact opposite. It's taking the water and pushing it away from the beaches. So some of those beaches, you're actually just seeing miles and miles of sand, but no water where it should be. This is very dangerous. When that water comes back in, and it will do that as the storm pushes off to the north, the winds wrap back around and will push all that water back in. It doesn't come in slowly. It comes in fast and furious, and that will be deadly for anyone that is on those beaches. Then your total storm surge numbers are very impressive still. You'll notice here along the East Coast, some of these numbers have gone down. It's not because the overall numbers are lower. It's because they've already started to accumulate some storm surge. So this is additional storm surge going forward. The highest numbers still remain on the southwestern tier of Florida because it's a little bit shallower there. The, the, the gradient that it goes off before it dips into the ocean is shallower. That allows for those heights to come up a little bit higher than they would on the Atlantic side where it's a much deeper drop. Here's a look at the track. It's over open water right now, so we expect it to maintain Category 4 strength until it gets to about Tampa. It will weaken slightly down to a Category 3, but after that, as it makes its way up to the Panhandle, this is where it's going to weaken rapidly. This is a good thing for folks in the Panhandle, places like Georgia and Alabama. Because of this wind shear, this pink color that you see here, this is going to kill that hurricane very quickly. The top shear, those top layers, it's just going to rip that hurricane apart. Again, good news for the folks up north, not so much for the folks that are dealing with the storm now. We've talked about storm surge, but winds are also going to be a major factor here. Maximum wind gusts expected around 135 miles per hour in Key West, 137 in Fort Myers, about 130 for ta uh, Tampa. But even, Jake, up around Tallahassee, which is on the northern fringe, they could still be looking at wind gusts of 90 to even 95 miles per hour. Uh, Allison, um, 